Hi everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Let's drink some beer, shall we? And this is what we've got today. Picked this up yesterday in my local uh, Morrison's. It's the Stella Artois um, unfiltered version. That's why the green labelling, to show it's something slightly different. It comes in at 5% uh, ABV. I think they're following up on the um, trend in the beer and lager market, craft beer and market, market, craft beer and lager market for unfiltered products. Uh, filtering just takes out all the little bits of um, yeast and a little bit of hops and particles that have got together during the brewing pr process. So what you end up, if you take out all that, you end up with you end up with a clearer product, A, but B, you end up with a slightly worse product because there's flavours in there. There's a little bit of extra mouthfeel in there. And I think that's why the um, craft market, craft beer market, like it because they know they're going to get just that little bit of extra flavour from from um, from the product. Now, by I suppose a happy coincidence, is when I bought that yesterday and brought it into the ale house, I noticed I had a bottle of the filtered version as well. So I thought it was a good opportunity. I've never actually officially recorded a, a, um, a review of the filtered one. Um, I probably never will. I don't like Stella. I never have liked it. Did you drink it a little bit back in the olden days? It was 5.2%. It was known as being a really strong lager. And at 5.2% ABV, uh, yeah, people flocked to it. But over the years, it's come down to 5%, and now it's 4.6%, I think. 4.6% ABV. So they've really started to dumb it down a little bit. Obviously, it's not brewed in Belgium anymore. It's brewed in the UK. It's owned by uh, InBev. Um, and it's just another product that um, I don't know. They've tried to another big macro brewery have tried to um, ruin it a little bit. Uh, interestingly, I think if you get the filtered one in Belgium, um, I think it is still 5.2% ABV. Uh, what's interesting, I think the Belgian one they've lowered the um, IBU, so the bitterness on it. I think it was 33 as a uh, IBU and it's now down to 20 so that's low bitterness for a, a Pilsner really though you expect it to be up as high as I don't know somewhere between 25 and 45 I think IBUs um, so at 20 it is lower than people would expect both products are available in Morrison's both products sell for uh, £2.25 let's, let's get them open shall we let's see what we have got so we'll, I'll open the unfiltered one first get that off get okay, some nice aromas from that straight away and then the filtered one no aromas from that you can actually see um, I don't know if you can see in the bottles turn them sideways but in the bottle, as you can see, that that's clear. That's clearer, and a lot of carbonation. Um, that is slightly hazy and not as much carbonation. So with it being clear, the force a lot of carbonation into it because it can't hold its own carbonation. That's about to spill over a little bit. Let's get these poured. that's poured well like you'd expect from a Pilsner it is virtually crystal clear really good um, nice white head uh, it's got a lovely golden color which you would expect to see from a Pilsner and now the unfiltered version Out of the way. So that's the difference. So they've both poured golden, obviously crystal clear from the filtered one, and a slight haze. I was expecting it to be slightly hazy than that actually on the unfiltered one. Let's get these aromas, shall we? 
un, so filtered. Classic, the old one. Not a lot in there. Mild hoppiness. Mild bit, mild kind of sweet biscuity malt. The unfiltered one. Slightly more aroma, not much, not, not, not much more to be honest. Smells the same, just maybe slightly sweeter. So, the new one, very little in it, a little bit more aroma in the new one, um, the unfiltered one. Uh, and it smells for me just just ever so slightly sweeter. Right, let's taste them, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Tastes like your standard pilsner. Um, you got your mild malts in there. Tastes sweet. A little bit of breadiness in there. Nice bit of bitterness at the back end, actually. And, but you, you've got all the, the, the little bit of citrus coming through as well. So you've got all the stuff you'd normally expect from a pilsner. <coughs> pretty, it, it, do you know what? It, it tastes pretty average. Let's try the unfiltered one. Cheers, already. There is a flavour difference. Um, certainly the unfiltered one, so the newer the newer of them. Which one? Feels a bit smoother. Um, very similar flavour profiles. Certainly the new one, it, we got a sweet aroma off it. It tastes a little bit sweeter as well. But it is smoother. Um, I think the bitterness is a bit more on the new one. Yeah, certainly more bitterness. Um, so whether they chucked a few more hops in there, they can get away with putting a little bit more hop in since he's a little bit stronger. Um, some of the... Um, not sediment, but some of the particles in there will be hop like particles, and so will impart a little bit of extra bitterness because it's got more of it in there. That's actually coming out with a quite a nice bitterness, actually. I'm slightly, slightly impressed by that. Um, tastes thin, tastes thin. And the uh, unfiltered one does seem to have a little bit more about it mouthfeel wise um, they both look like they got in fact that looks a little bit more carbonated at the moment but that in the mouth I must admit that the older one feels more carbonated in the mouth where the carbonation this in the uh, unfiltered one just makes it feel a bit smooth I think So nice spiciness, you're getting the nice what you, what you expect from a nice pilsner. Just a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of pepperiness at the back end. And certainly getting that on the unfiltered one, but not on the filtered one. It's flavour removed, that, that's the difference. They are removing a little bit of flavour from that one. This one, I'm, I'm, I know they said it's unfiltered, but I'm sure that it has been through a level of, it will have been through a level of... Um, uh, filtration um, but left in yeah works for it that 
I say I got these from Morrison's, I got these for the same price. For the same price, I'd easily pick the new one. Easily pick the new one for the for for the uh, if they are the same if they are the same price. If it ever goes up in price, I, I don't know if it's a promotional thing. I know it started off started off selling it in Asda a couple of months back, and then it's now reaching out and getting to more and more places. Um, do you know what? If it comes out of 10, 15 p more, then it probably is slightly worth it. It is a better beer, but it's still not a great beer by any stretch of the imagination. It's still, it's a little bit above average. Um, now I think when I've, I have, like I said, I've not I've reviewed it on video before, but when I have reviewed Stella, I think that came out about five and a half out of 10. It's a little bit better. Is the unfiltered one a little bit better? And for that, I would probably score that. I'd score it a six and a half out of ten. That's six and a half out of ten from Andy's beer reviews. Whatever it is you're drinking tonight, enjoy it, won't you? Until the next review, cheers, everybody.